got Monica. And that's it. Let's start. We start. Ooh, we, we left off right here. I was showing my poem, I remember. We, of course, we can show Monica next. Hey, Monica. Hi again, kill me. Hi, Monica. How's the writing going? You know. Alright, I guess. Alright. My leg's asleep. Oh, shoot. Jesus Christ, this ain't gonna be good. I'm gonna lose my leg if I keep that up for an hour. I'll take that. Oh my god, you can't just swipe it. As long as it's not going bad. Oh. Oh, I thought you were taking my poem. I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Oh no. Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. Ooh, I already have many masterpieces. <laughs> I wouldn't count on that. You never know. Want to share what you wrote for today? Not really, but I'll just share anything with you, Monica. <laughs> oh, sorry. Here, here you go. I give my poem to Monica. All right. This one's good. It feels like you're not only getting more comfortable with your style, but the imagery is better than the last one I read. Just wondering, but have you been finding inspiration in Yuri's writing style? Mm hmm. I guess so. I mean, I skipped a poem last time, so I don't really think that's whatever. Though. You can't deny that she's talented. Yeah, totally. I think your poems are the most romantic. That's the best way to describe it. She's like a totally different person when she picks up a pen. I noticed that too. And when she's talking about literature, it's like a light turns on inside of her. If you know what I mean. <laughs> Sadly, it's hard to get much personal conversation out of her. Trust me, I already tried. Who knows what goes on in that head of hers. World dom domination. Your audio is fine, by the way. Thanks, man. Hope you don't mean that in a bad way. No, of course not. I just hate her. I just mean that I wish she didn't keep so much to herself. You know? But still, defending her like that. You must be pretty into her. Not as much as I'm into you, Monica. <laughs> I'm sorry. Eh? You're completely misunderstood. Ah, uh -huh. calm down, I'm kidding. Besides, I'm pretty sure she has got a boyfriend. Wait, really? A b -b 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 boyfriend? Yeah, a fictional one anyway. Uh -huh. A freaking weeaboo, you got probably, probably like a body pillow or some like gay jap. I'm sorry. Monica. <laughs> Monica. Kind of whispers that last part to me. It's just a hunch, but. Well, there's not really anything wrong with that. But it's kind of freaking weird. Oh well, I know. I was just saying. But anyway. You wanna read my poem now? Well, yeah, let's get to it. I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Alright, let's take a look. -y. Save me. The colors, they wait, what? The colors, they won't stop. Bright, beautiful colors, flashing, expanding, piercing. Red, green, blue, and endless. Calacophany, whatever. I can't read big words of meaningless. You probably used it the source. Don't even lie to me. You used it the source, Monica. Sly son of a gun. Of meaningless noise. <coughs> the noise won't. Stop. Oh shoot! Hey. Right. The noise it won't stop. Violent, grating waveforms, squeaking, screeching, piercing, sine, cosine, tangent, like playing a chalkboard on a turp turntable, like playing a. Vinyl, oh, is that? Yeah, I don't know. On a pi on a pizza, oh, playing a vinyl on a pizza crust. 
an endless poem of meaningless. That's freaking dark. Load me? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why does it go so far down and it's like that? Am I missing a piece of, of the poem? How do I get out of this again? Oh, hmm? Even more abstract than your last one, huh? <laughs> I guess it's just the way I write. I'm sorry if you don't like it. No, I never said that. I said it's got pretty sadistic. I don't know. It's okay. It, I mean, it's just kind of a thing I never really seen before, I guess. I kind of like playing with my space on. I kind of like playing with my space on the paper. Yeah, I, I saw choosing where and had <clears throat> where and had to spread uh, space your words can totally change the mood of the poem. It's almost like magic. The way I wrote the lines really short makes it feel like they're trying to speak over the noise. I see. It's still hard for me to tell what it's about, though. It's about you're trying to hang yourself, probably, right? Ah. <laughs> Sometimes asking what poem is about isn't the right question. A poem can be abstract as a physical expression of a feeling, or a conversation with the reader. So putting it that way, not every poem is about something. Anyway, here's Monica. Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Go kill yourself. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your... Save your game. Saved it. Never know what might change your mind. Or when something unexpected may happen. Are they talking about this game? Wait, is this tip even about writing? What am I even talking about? You're talking directly to me! Ah, <laughs> That's my advice for today. Thanks for saving. Don't tell me to save. Cause I just did. Thanks for listening. <clears throat> Monica's kind of creeping me out, just a bit. Uh, I hate her, so we're gonna do Sayori next, even though she's a complete retard. Ooh! I like this one, kill me. It has some nice feelings in it. Ah, I'm good. Does that mean it's better than yesterday's? Hmm, let me think. I don't know. I guess I like them both. <laughs> That's not very helpful, you know. Well, I'm not very good at figuring out if the poem's good or bad. That's, but that's why I just go by my heart. It makes me feel things, and it must be a good poem. I'm not sure if that's exactly how it works. And again, I guess conveying feelings is a pretty important part of the whole thing. Yeah, maybe. Honestly, I don't know what kind of writing you like in the first place. Yeah. Me neither. Uh. Why don't you at least try giving it some thought? Aw. Uh, you want to write something for me? Nope. That's so sweet. Yeah, right. But you're always thinking about other people. You need to think about yourself once in a while. If you don't, you might end up getting hurt or so at some point. Eh? Well, I don't really know what you mean, but I'll try to keep it in mind. Well, whatever. Anyway, let's see. Hmm? I guess it's like, I guess I like happy poems. Wait, something I said, something like a sad poem too. Uh, sometimes I like a sad poem too. Sometimes a little bit of both. Is all a word for that, right? What's the word I'm looking for? Retarded. Bittersweet. Yeah. I like things that are happy and things that are sad. Happy and sad. I can't see you liking something sad, Sayori. I can't see you liking something sad. Well, I act happy the most. But sometimes when you have a little rain cloud in your head, I 
the sand pump can help give a rain cloud a little rain cloud a little hug. Now good for you. And make a nice happy rainbow. Sorry, that's unexpectedly poetic. Eh, is it? <clears throat> Maybe I better get expressing it. I'm better at expressing my feelings after all. Yeah, okay, cool, thanks. Kill me. Oh, I gotta stretch. I can't read this anymore. What is good? Good. I should go write that down then. You can read my poem now, okay? Okay, let's read your poem. Oh, it's a long one. Bottles. I puff up my scalp like the. Pop off my scalp? My no lid of a cookie jar. It's the secret place where I keep all my dreams. That's creepy. Little balls of sunshine, all rubbing together like a bundle of kittens. I reach inside with my thumb and forefinger and pluck out one. It's warm and tingly, but there's no time to waste. I put it in a bottle to keep it safe. And I put the bottle on a shelf <coughs> with all the other bottles. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts in a bottle all in a row. My collection makes me lots of friends. Each bottle, each bottle, a starlight and makes amends. To make amends, sometimes my friends feel a certain way. Down comes a bottle to save the day. Night after night, more dreams. Friend after friend, more bottles. Deeper and deeper, my fingers go like exploring a dark cave, discovering the secrets hiding in the nooks and crannies, digging and digging, scraping and scraping. I blow dust off my bottle caps. It doesn't feel like a, like time elapsed. My empty shelf could use some more. My friends look through my locked front door. Look at that Finally, all done, I open up and in comes my friends. In they come, in such a hurry. Do they want my bottle that is that much? I frantically pull them from the shelves, one after another, holding them out to each and every friend, each and every bottle. But every time I let, go, let one go, it shatters against the tile between my feet. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts, and shards all over the floor. They were supposed to be for my friends, my friends, who aren't smiling. They're all shouting, pleading, something. But all I hear is echo, 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 inside my head. Okay. Holy crap. Sayori, did you really write this? Of course I did. Didn't I tell you yesterday I was gonna write the best poem ever? Yeah, but... I mean, I didn't expect something like this coming from you. Monica called me a whole lot. I have been really in touch with my feelings recently. I see that. It's almost kind of creepy. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Creepy. Well, not exactly. Maybe I'm so used to you being cheerful. Well, never mind. I'm thinking too hard about it. The point, the point is, it came out good, and you should be proud of it. Ah, thanks. I feel like, I feel like this is meant to express, like I was meant to express myself this way. It even helps me understand my own feelings a little bit better. Writing is like magic. You got plenty, you've gotten, you gotten pretty passionate about this, huh? I hope you keep it up. Yeah, writing is the best. <laughs> Writing's the best. Ah, oh, I skipped that, whatever. Ah, uh, don't get ahead of yourself. Zary always had a habit of getting obsessed with something before dropping it no more than a week later. Cool. I wonder if this one is uh, I wonder if this is one of those times. But it but seeing the passion in her eyes makes it hard for me to be pessimistic. Oh yeah, I can tell.
tell you were a little more daring with this one. But you're really not good enough for that yet. It fell flat. Everyone said it was good except for you. That may be true, but I just wanted to try something different. I'm still figuring this all out. I mean, I always like poems that aren't trying too hard. I hate when people try so fancy or or try to sound so fancy or add the meaning just by using an annoying and complicated language. Just make it simple, cute, and to the point. Yuri's head over heels for all this cryptic nonsense. But I, but I see right through that BS. Ha! Making your reader look so hard for all this deep meaning is just an excuse to have no meaning at all. I guess that's one way to look at it. <clears throat> oh my god, she's so stupid. I hate her. I don't like her. Well, everyone has their own opinion. But my opinion is the best opinion. <laughs> I'm sure you figured that out already, yeah. Mm, er. Anyway, here's my poem. Maybe I'll learn something. Let's see if I'll learn something. Oh, you guys are making long poems now. <sighs> Amy likes spiders. You know what I heard about Amy? Amy likes spiders. Icky. Rickly. Hairy. Ugly spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. Wow, that's kind of mean. Amy has a cute singing voice. I heard her singing my favorite love song. Every time she sang the chorus, my heart would pound to the rhythm of the words. But she likes spiders. <laughs> That's why I'm not friends with her. <laughs> oh my god. One time I hurt my leg really bad. Amy helped me and took me to the nurse. I tried not to let her touch me. She likes spiders. So her hands are probably gross. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has lots of friends. I always see her talking to people. She probably talks about spiders. What if her friends start to like spiders too? That's why I'm not friends with her. <laughs> it doesn't matter if she has other hobbies. It doesn't matter if she keeps it pri uh, keep, keeps it private. It doesn't matter if it doesn't hurt anyone. It's gross. She's gross. The world's better off without spider lovers. And I'm gonna tell everyone. I'm jerk. Maybe just like spiders. Not bad, right? I mean, it was easy to read. It's quite a bit longer than yesterday. Yeah, that's what I said. Yesterday was way too short. I was just warming up. I hope you didn't think that was the best I could do. No, of course not. Anyway, the message is pretty straightforward in this. Yep. I doubt I have to explain it. Sometimes you can explain... Sometimes you can explain complicated issues with much simpler analogies. Analogies, whatever. Analogies, whatever, and it helps people realize how stupid they're being. Yeah, they're being stupid bad. Amy just likes spiders, man. Like anyone would agree that the subject of this poem is about an ignorant jerk. Do you know people like that? Of course, that how everyone thinks my. That doesn't matter. It can be about anything. Oh, she's upset that we thought her poem sucked balls. I wrote it to be to be easily easy to relate to. Everyone has some kind of weird hobby or guilty pleasure. Something that you're afraid if people find out they make fun of you or think less of you. Or that just makes people stupid. Who cares what something what someone likes? As long as they're not hurting anyone, and it can make them happy. I think people really need to learn to respect others for liking weird things. Oh, that's funny. Yuri wrote about something similar today. Huh? Did you say Yuri? No, I said someone else. Yeah, Yuri. Who else? Yeah. She said her poem was about an unusual hobby of hers. I didn't really get it, <clears throat> but she said something similar to you, that people shouldn't make each other feel insecure about those things. Really? Well, I 
I mean, Yuri's pretty weird, so I wouldn't doubt that she has some weird hobbies. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Ugh. It's not like I would judge her or anything. Natsuki has trouble finding words. I, I, I guess I should try and not be so mean to her. Yeah, that's a good idea. If she feels insecure about her weird behaviors and stuff. I mean, I always hate people who make them feel, make me feel insecure. And Yuri made me feel insecure yesterday. The way you put it, sounds like she's learned her lesson. Well, I would say so. Even if her writing style was different. Oh wait, I thought someone texted me. Even if her writing style was different, I'm pretty sure she'll appreciate the message in your poem. It's what I do best after all. I don't like writing unless there's a good message to take away from it. Like conveying emotions is important. But I want to make people think, not just feel. Remember that. I'm gonna write a good one for tomorrow, too, so look forward to it. Okay. <clears throat> Finally, we finished everyone's poem. Thank God! Okay, everyone. We're all done reading everyone's poems, right? I have some extra plans today. Oh no. So, if everyone could sit at the front of this room, this is about the festival. Well, sort of. Ugh. Do we really have to do something for the festival? Festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. Well, just end up embarrassing. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're gonna keep it simple, okay? We won't need much more than a few decorations. Suri has been working on posters and I designed some pamphlets we can give out during the event. Okay, that's a great that's great and all. But that doesn't tell us what we're actually gonna do for the event. Ah, sorry. I thought you heard about it already. We're gonna be performing! Performing? Oh, uh, Monica. Yeah, we're gonna have a poetry performance. Each of us is going to choose a poem to recite during the event. But the cool part is, we're also gonna let everyone else come up and recite poems too. Say so already's putting it, putting it on all the posters in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. Eh? <laughs> Sorry. Who has been coloring a poster holds hold it up for us to see. Are you kidding me, Monica? You didn't you didn't already start putting all those posters up, did you? Eh well, I did. Do you really think think that's a bad idea? Well no. It's not a bad idea. But I didn't sign up for this, you know. There's no way I'm gonna be performing in front of a group of people like that. I agree with Natsuki. I could never, in my life, do something like that. Imagining it, Yuri shakes her head in fear. Guys! No, Sayori. I understand where they're coming from. Remember that Natsuki and Yuri have never shared their poems with anyone until just a couple of days ago. It's a lot to ask for them to recite their poems out loud to a whole room of people. I guess it's kind of overlooked. I guess I kind of overlooked that. So I'm sorry. But, I still think we should give it our best. We're, only, we're, we're the only ones responsible for the fate of this club. And if we start the event, if we start the event and each put a good performance, then it will inspire others to do the same. And the more people who perform, the better we'll be able to show everyone what literature is all about. Yeah! Literature, teamwork. It's about expressing your feelings. Being intimate with yourself. Finding new horizons. And having fun. That's right! And it's all those reasons that we're in, all in this club today. The reason I'm in this club is for a cupcake. But, you know, speak for yourself. 
Don't you want to share that with others? To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place. I know you do. I know we all do. If that, and if all it takes is standing in front of the a room for two minutes and reciting a poem, and I know you can do it. Natsuki and Yuri remain silent. Sayori looks worried. I guess that leaves me no choice. Agree. I agree. I don't think it's too much to ask. I don't agree. I think it's way too much to ask. I can't recite a poem in front of people. Are you kidding me? I think that Sayori and Monica have been trying really hard to get new members. The least we can do is help them out a little bit. Well, maybe, but... It looks like Natsuki doesn't have any arguments left. Got her! Uh. Okay, fine. I guess I'll have to get over it. Get over with it. Get it over with. Alright. Phew. Thanks, Natsuki. What about you, Yuri? Yuri dejectedly glances around at everyone's expected that face I can't read today, I'm sorry. Sorry. I guess I don't really have a choice. You don't, Yuri. You wanna know why? Because everyone's forcing you to. And if you don't, we're gonna make fun of you. Aha, that's everyone. You're the best, Yuri. This club is seriously going to be the death of me. Why'd you join? Hmm? Oh gosh. You'll be fine, Yuri. But anyway. Let's move on the main event. I want each of you to, to choose a poem of yours. You're going to practice reciting them in front of each other. And then no way! Monica! This is too sudden. So if you can't recite your poems in front of the club, then how can you expect to do it in front of strangers? Oh no. Don't worry. I'll start off to help everyone feel a little bit more comfortable. Can I go next? Ah, haha, <laughs> of course! Now let's see. Monica flips through her notebook to have a specific poem she has in mind for herself. Then she stands behind the podium. The title of this poem is The Way They Fly. And <clears throat> Monica begins to recite the poem. Her clear, confident voice fills the room. More than her inflections is per sign. Whatever. I'll be getting a phone call. That's me. You did it? Yeah. What'd you do? Oh, so now you have thumbsticks for your remote? Now I have thumbsticks for my remote. And it just fell off. And now I'm depressed again. And now it's cycling. Hi. Right. <laughs> that's what happens when you're an engineer. Oh, Are you an engineer ma major? No. <laughs> then why bring it up? Shoot, I better go to engineering school and then drop out. Everyone is a fucking major YouTuber, drop out engineering. Well, that's what I'm doing next. What did I say? I don't know what that means. Yeah, alright, well, I'm gonna continue now. Thanks for interrupting.
could have wrote that in the chat. All right, I'm gonna continue. Nice. Bye. Some people, man, so rude, interrupting my stream. We're gonna save it. All right, we're back. She knows exactly how to apply her emotion behind each line she recites. Bring the world to life, if you know what I mean. Is this something that she's done before, or she is simply a natural? I glance around me. Everyone has their eyes on Monica. Sorry, looks amazed. Yuri has an intense expression on her face that I don't understand. And finally, Monica finishes the recitation. Whatever. The four of us applaud. Monica takes a deep breath and smiles. That, that was so good, Monica! Uh, thank you very much. I was, just, I was just hoping to set a good example. Are you ready to go next, Sayori? I'll go next! Uh, Yuri's fired up all of a sudden. Who do it? You know what I mean? Yuri clutches a. Oh, shoot. Keeping her head down, she walks quickly over to the podium. This poem is called. Yuri anxiously glances at each, other, each of us. You can do it, Yuri! It's called. After Image of a Crimson Eye. What the hell is that? Yuri's voice shakes as she starts reading the poem. Just a moment ago, she practically refused to do this. Why is she suddenly putting it in so much effort? As Yuri gets as Yuri gets past the first couple of lines, her voice changes. It's almost like what happens when Yuri gets absorbed in her books. Her quivering words transform into sharp syllables of fierce and confident woman. Oh. You know what I mean. The poem is full of twists and turns in its structure that she in, 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 indicates whatever I can't read. I'm just gonna skip it. This must be a rare glimpse into the world. The whirling fire Yuri keeps concealed inside her head. Suddenly, she finishes. Finished, whatever. Everyone is stunned. Yuri snaps back into reality. Oh, there goes spaghetti. Wow, spaghetti. And glances around her, as if she bewildered even herself. Hi. It's up to me to save this situation. I'm the first to start applying. Everyone joins me afterwards, <laughs> and we give Yuri the recognition she deserves. It's not that we didn't want to applaud for her, but we were so caught off guard that we must have forgotten. As we applaud, Yuri holds the palm to her chest and rushes back to her seat. Yuri, that was... Alright. That was really good. Thanks for sharing. I wish I can hear that hear the poem. Come on. Why why do I just like my character describes the poem, but we don't get to hear the poem. Looks like Yuri's down for the count. She's dead? Okay. I guess I'm next then. Sorry he hops out of her chair and cheerfully walks to the podium. This one's called My Meadow. Ah. Ah ha ha. Sorry, I giggled. <laughs> Don't worry. It's a lot harder than I thought. How'd you guys do it so easily? Ah. I try not to think of it like you're reciting to other people. Imagine that you're reciting it to yourself. In front of a mirror. Or in your own head. It's your poem. So it'll come out the best that way. I see, I see. Okay then. Sorry begins her poem. Somehow it feels like your soft voice is made as a perfect match. The poem isn't aimlessly cheery like Sayori's is. Wait, what? The poem isn't aimlessly cheery like Sayori's is? 
Oh. It's sincere and bittersweet. If I were to read this on paper, I probably wouldn't think much of it. But hearing it come from Sayori's voice almost gives it a whole new meaning. Maybe this is what Sayori meant when she says she likes my poems. It's like I get to reach more deeply into something, someone, oh no. It's like I get to reach more deeply into someone I thought I knew. Through and through. You didn't know what I mean. <laughs> Sayori finishes and we applaud. I did it! Good job, Sayori. Have a Scooby snack. <laughs> Even kill me liked it. Okay. It's okay, I guess. I guess it's a good sign. What does that even mean? It came out nicely, Sayori. The atmosphere of the poem fits you really nice. Really nicely. It might be that other poem. It might be that other poems wouldn't work quite as well with that kind of delivery. Eh? I don't really understand. In other words, I've seen poems of yours where the sort of gentle delivery would have worked as well. They might need a little more force behind them, depending on what you're reading. Oh, I know what you mean! Like, you know, you gotta hit the force when you read. That's well. That's well. I've been practicing that kind of thing. Alright, that's gay. I'm not talking like that. It's just embarrassing to do so. Do it in front of everyone. <laughs> <laughs> the next time, I'm gonna make you pick poems that challenges you a little more. We don't have much time for the fe before the festival, you know. Okay. Now, who's next? Natsuki! Como esta, Natsuki? That didn't work. <laughs> don't make me go before kill me. It's not like I can compare you guys anyway. Might as well. Might as well let kill me lower everyone's standards a little before I have to do it. Go kill yourself! Die, you stupid pink hair fag! I'm sorry. I might as well like. Oh yeah, I read that. Natsuki! It's fine, it's fine. It's not fine. I might as well get over with. But it's not like I have much of a selection of what to read. I just have to go with what I wrote for today. I stand up, sit in front of the podium. Everyone has their eyes on me, making me feel terribly awkward. When your thumb grips don't fit, but you're, you're an engineer major. <laughs> oh wow. Everyone has their eyes on me, making me feel terribly awkward. I recite my poems. My poem. Since I'm not exactly confident in my own writing, it's not. It's hard to put every energy into it. Despite that, once I finish, I receive an applause anyway. Sorry, I'm not really good, as good as everyone else. Don't worry about it. I think it less about your abilities. I think it's less about your abilities and more about your lack of confidence in your writing. That's something that I'll improve over time. That'll prove over time, though. Yeah, maybe. Alright, then. That just leaves you, Natsuki. Everyone was like, Oh my god, Yuri. That was fantastic. Good job. Oh my god. You're so good. Oh, Sayori. That was great. Jesus Christ. I've never seen anything better. Monica, you're fantastic. Oh my god. And then I show up. It's like, eh, you can work on it a little bit. Alright, next. Like, thanks, guys. Make me feel... Make me feel great. Just leaves you, Natsuki. Yeah, yeah. I'm going. Natsuki begrudgedly gets out of her seat and makes her way to the podium. The poem is called... It's called... Well, why are you looking at me? Because you're presenting... Hmm. Anyways, the poem's called Jump. Jump off a bridge. Natsuki takes a breath. Once she started reciting the poem, her sour attitude disappears a little. While well, she's still a little unenthused, he asked. Unenthused. Yeah, unenthused. I had it right. 
Their poem has a rhythm and a rhyme to it. It's Natsuki's trademark style, and it works surprisingly well when spoken aloud. The words feel like they bounce up and down, as if given life to the poem. Natsuki finishes, and everyone applauds. Jump, jump. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't read that. But, uh, Natsuki finishes, and everyone applauds. She hops back to her seat. That wasn't so bad, was it? Easy for you to say. You better not make me do that again. Ah, uh, well, we're gonna do it again. Do you always feel prepared enough to recite a poem in front of other people? I mean, doing it in front of other people will always, will be way easier. I can put on whatever face I want for other people. When it's just my friends, Oh, he's called me a friend. It's just embarrassing. That's surprising, Natsuki. I think it'd be the other way around for me. Well, that's how it is. So, well, I guess that in that case, you won't have much to worry about for the festival. That said, I want to thank everyone for coming through today. It might be hard, but that you all, I hope you all have an idea of what it's like now. Yep. Make sure you pick a poem. You have enough practice before the festival, okay? I'll be making pamphlets, so let, let me know ahead of time what you want to be reciting. Alright, jeez. I should probably find some other poem to recite instead. That's fine, too. Doesn't have to be your own. Really? Oh, sweet. I already pres pres present literally. I are. Oh my god, I'm having a stroke and I can't stop. I'm already pleasantly surprised that you're putting in all of this effort for the club. Boom! Got it. It makes me really happy. Oh no, when she does that, she knows she wants to kill me. Look at her. She's like, it makes me really happy, if you know what I mean. I said that like five times during this one stream. I'm so sorry. Ah uh, yeah, no problem. Okay, everyone. I think it's about it for today. I know the festival is coming up, so let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. It'll be working out really nicely. So It's been working out really nicely so far. I'd like to continue that. As for the festival, we'll finish planning tomorrow. Then we'll have the weekend to prepare. Monday's the big day. I can't wait. I can do this. I can do this. I'm not scared, I can do this. All right. I stand up. There's no way I'll be able to find the same enthusiasm as Sayori, Monica, and Monica, but I'll do my best to get through. I skipped it. Blah, 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 and impressing Monica. Then I'll have to do my best. Ready to go, Sayori? Yep. Look at you two always going home together like that. It's kind of adorable, isn't it? Well, we're like neighbors, so what does it matter? <laughs> Jeez, guys. Don't make such a big deal out of it. Must be a little nice, though. Well, ah. Uh, how am I supposed to respond to that? It's okay to kill me. You don't have to say it. Whatever. Let's go already. I walk home with Sayori once more. Even, even though it's only been a few days, a lot of those things have already changed. But today, Sayori is being a little quieter than usual on the way home. Hey, Sayori. Sorry, I was spacing out. Ah, uh, no wonder. Hmm? I was thinking about something earlier. From early. I like how we get to... I mean... So it fumbles with your words. So, let's just say that one day, Yuri asked, asked to walk home with you. Huh? What would you do? What kind of question is that? You're kind of putting me on the spot here, man. Eh? <laughs> well, oh boy, <laughs> choices, choices. I don't know. Hmm. I mean, does Yuri live close to me? I don't know. Why would I walk home with Yuri if she doesn't live right there? But Sayori is supposed to be the neighbor, right? I don't know, man. 
Is is this like a, a choice that if I mess up I, I screw myself? Let's uh Let's save. No, it's not a choice. Then I'll screw myself. Okay, cool. Uh she has to walk home with me. Yeah, why not change it up? Alright, cool. Walk home with you. Why does that make my heart pound? I mean, giving that heart is for her to socialize. I feel awfully awful turning her down, so. Yeah, right? <laughs> Come on. Let, just look at it this way, right? Alright, so. so they're, they're neighbors, right? They've been walking home every day. And then Yuri's like, hey, can you walk home with me today? You know, one day. And it's like, why not change it up one day? It's like, all right, I'll walk home with you, and then you can continue walking with Sayori after. It's like, come on, you kidding me? <laughs> I'm such a scumbag for saying that. You kidding me? Oh my god. You kidding me? You want to walk home with Yuri? I feel like she's going to hold this over my head. All right, you know what? That's why I saved. <laughs> hmm. I'd still walk home with Sayori. No, no, no. No! You, you call me a scumbag. Let's see what he says here. Eh? Pick Yuri. Hmm. Hmm. Should I pick Yuri? Nah, nah, you're right. I, I, you, you can't, you can't ditch her. Screw you! I freaking. I don't know, man. Nah, I'm going with that. I'm going with that. Cause then, look now. Now listen to this. She's not gonna. I she if she's if she rats on me though. She can scumbag. But l listen, it's like she she ain't gonna tell on her. So you know, every she'll be happy and Jerry will be happy and you know. Oh, but then if she actually asks and I say yes. And it's like lying, and everything. Hmm. Oh boy, oh boy. All right, I'll just go with this. Whatever. Walking home with Yuri, huh? Why is it though that make my heart pound? I mean, giving that heart is for the socialize and feel awful turning her down. So, isn't she so beautiful and smart? That has nothing to do with it. What I just said. Ah, you admitted it. Jeez. There's not even any point in speculating something that's never going to happen. Well, maybe. But I just like to think about it. It's not long before you you won't need me anymore, you know? Oh, I didn't mean it like that. See, I can't go with this now. Need you. Sayori. I can't figure out how you're seeing things in your head right now. Can't figure out how you're seeing things in your head right now. Sorry. Everyone is different. Nobody in the club can is a replacement for you. Hmm. See, he's like nice about it though. If you say so, but she won't believe it. The conversation trails off and I'm left feeling awkward. Oh no. Oh boy. It was kind Kind of her fault for trapping me in such a weird question. You can't just lie to her. But if there's something that makes her happy, I would hate to take that away from her. That's why I said there's no point in speculating. Then again, the fest is only a few days away. Who knows what happened in that time? Oh boy.
I feel like I picked the wrong choice. Well, that's all, folks. Arrivederci, smile, you'll Bye bye. Goodbye.